Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 disappearing a decade ago. That plane carrying 239 people vanished from radars less than an hour after departing Kuala Lumpur for, for Beijing. Now the curiosity surrounding what happened and where that plane is, is resurfacing. And while dozens of searches of the Indian Ocean have produced zero evidence to answer those questions, now the deep sea explorers claiming to have found Amelia Earhart's plane 164,000 feet below the Pacific. When you say, what are the aliens? What you, where, where are the aliens? Oh, like, why don't we see them? A lot of people think we see aliens, but I, I've not seen any evidence of aliens. Um, you know, we've got, 6,000 satellites in orbit, and not once have we had to maneuver around an alien spacecraft. Right. The mysterious disappearance of Malaysian Airlines Flight 370 remains one of the greatest puzzles in modern history. But hold up. What if we told you Elon Musk just dropped a bombshell revelation about Flight 370, something so jaw-dropping that it's left scientists and aviation experts speechless? What could Musk possibly know about the fate of MH370 that no one else does? Is this mystery finally solved? The disappearance of flight MH370. It was supposed to be a regular flight, just another day in the skies for Malaysian Airlines as flight 370 took off for Beijing. But chaos struck when the plane vanished into the night without a trace. At first, officials thought the plane might have taken a detour. Simple, right? Well, not quite, because hours passed and every attempt to contact the aircraft failed. Panic spread and wild theories erupted as authorities, foreign governments, and heartbroken families grew desperate for answers. The more they searched, the more confusing the case became. Flight MH370 was scheduled to travel from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing on March 8, 2014, a routine trip with all systems in perfect condition. But in a shocking twist, the plane disappeared midair, leaving the world with more questions than answers. Everything was going smoothly, the plane took off at 12.41 a.m., reached cruising altitude, and then the last message came through. What were those final words? Good night, Flight 370. Vision 370, contact with Chimino 120, decimal 99. Good night, Malaysia 370. It was the last anyone would ever hear from the pilot. That eerie message was only the beginning. Moments later, the plane's car system a critical communication channel between the plane and ground control was shut down. This wasn't just a technical glitch. It felt like something straight out of a movie, plunging everyone into confusion. Think of it like flipping off the lights in a packed theater. Utter chaos followed. Why would someone deliberately turn off the car system? But that wasn't all. As the air traffic controllers scrambled to make sense of it, they realized the plane's transponder, another key tool for communication, had also gone dark. Now the plane was practically invisible, flying blind, and no one had a clue where it was. Was this an accident or something much darker? As experts searched frantically for answers, hoping the situation would somehow resolve itself, the mystery only deepened. This wasn't just a disappearing plane, it was a nightmare unraveling, one layer at a time. The Malaysian military, which had been diligently tracking Flight 370 after it mysteriously went silent, also lost contact with the plane. This sent shockwaves of panic through the base, as hours passed with no word from the pilot or anyone on board. Could things get any worse? By the following day, it was clear to everyone in the aviation industry something was terribly wrong. With no time to waste, the hunt for the missing aircraft began. The last radar ping showed the plane hovering over the Andaman Sea, so initial searches focused on the Andaman Sea, the South China Sea, and the Strait of Malacca. But despite the military's advanced technology, the search turned up nothing. And the most baffling part? No one even knew the actual path the plane had traveled, let alone where it had ended up. As the mystery deepened, the search expanded to cover almost all of Asia and parts of Australia, with neighboring nations pitching in to help. Australia, in a high-tech effort, deployed an underwater robot to scan the ocean floor, hoping to find at least some wreckage. But as advanced as this robot was, it could only dive so deep before the crushing pressure of the ocean forced it to resurface empty-handed. The problem was the Indian Ocean itself, a massive, seemingly endless body of water with depths that could swallow anything whole. 
Search experts assumed that if the plane had crashed in a more accessible location, they might have had a fighting chance of finding it. But the unforgiving depths of the Indian Ocean? That was a different story. The mystery grew, and the lack of a precise crash site kept everyone guessing. Early on, search efforts focused on nearby islands, like the Andaman Islands. But once again, nothing. Then came a breakthrough from a British company, Inmarsat, which brought a glimmer of hope to the investigation. What was this breakthrough, and could it finally unlock the mystery? The company revealed that, shockingly, Flight MH370 had been sending faint signals, or pings, to one of its satellites for seven hours after going dark. Though the signals were weak, they were enough for investigators to trace the plane's approximate path. Using an advanced technique called burst timing offset, experts mapped out the potential distance of the aircraft based on these signals. And here's where things took an even weirder turn. The plane, it turned out, had been on autopilot, cruising at around 30,000 feet for hours before plunging into the vast, icy depths of the Indian Ocean. But why was it on autopilot? And what caused the final plunge? That part of the mystery remains unsolved. Armed with this new information, the Malaysian government and its international allies shifted their search 685 miles northeast, focusing on a vast and desolate stretch of ocean. Yet despite hours upon hours of scanning, surveying, and deep sea scouting using the most advanced tech out there, they found nothing. Was there some mysterious force at play, ensuring their efforts were fruitless? Every new direction seemed to lead to another dead end, leaving everyone involved scratching their heads. At this point, the authorities decided to zero in on one crucial element, the plane's black boxes. These nearly indestructible data recorders, located near the tail of the aircraft, could hold the key to what really happened aboard Flight 370. The black box records everything, the flight data, conversations in the cockpit, making it invaluable in the case of a crash. But here's the catch. Black boxes can only survive in the crushing pressures of the ocean for about 30 days. So time was not on their side. Australian ships soon picked up faint pings from about 2,000 kilometers northwest of Western Australia, believed to be coming from Flight 370's black box. The location of these signals lined up with data from the Inmarsat satellite, giving investigators a glimmer of hope. But given how weak the signal was, it became clear that if this was indeed the black box, its battery was running out fast. Would they find it in time? In a race against the clock, they deployed a robotic submarine to scour the region where the pings were detected. This wasn't going to be a quick job. The submarine had to comb through the vast area and try to pinpoint the exact source. After days of searching, the submarine finally located the source of the signal. Was this the breakthrough everyone had been waiting for? Well, no, it wasn't the black box and it wasn't any part of the plane. What the submarine found was just a faulty underwater cable. Yep, an anticlimactic dead end. No black box, no debris, no sign of the plane at all. In the end, despite the extensive two-year search that cost over $200 million and involved nations like Australia and China, the black box in the plane itself was never found. How does something so massive simply vanish without a trace? This chilling conclusion forced everyone to face a brutal reality. The plane was gone and gone for good. The search was suspended indefinitely, leaving grieving families without the answers they so desperately craved. The emotional toll was overwhelming. Families had hoped that at the very least, a crash site or even a scrap of debris would bring some closure. Instead, they were left with nothing but heartache and uncertainty. And with this perplexing riddle came a flurry of bizarre theories about the fate of Malaysia Flight 370. Was it a cover-up, a hijacking, or something even more unthinkable? The world was left with a haunting enigma, a puzzle that may never be solved. Elon Musk's new clue. Aviation experts and curious researchers have treated the search for Flight 370 like the ultimate treasure hunt a long-lost relic waiting to be found. Many were eager to crack the case and bask in the glory of discovery. But as frustration mounted and the mystery deepened, what remained were wild theories and strange assumptions about what happened on that fateful day. Could it have been pilot suicide, terrorism, or dare we say, alien abduction? Theories have ranged from plausible to downright bizarre over the years. 
Still, experts and scientists aren't willing to buy into wild speculation. They remain convinced that a logical explanation exists. After all, according to the laws of physics, what goes up must come down. A plane can't just vanish into thin air, right? Despite the wild goose chase, there's also been whispers of something more sinister. Some believe the Malaysian authorities knew more than they were letting on, fueling the rumor mill. Could secrecy be the real reason why this mystery remains unsolved? Yet even with these swirling conspiracy theories, hope for answers seemed bleak. Until now. Enter billionaire inventor Elon Musk, who just dropped a bombshell that may finally put an end to the Flight 370 Enigma. Musk's revelation has rocked the aviation world and given new life to this decades-old mystery. So what did Musk find that no one else could? According to Musk, after the plane vanished from radar, it made a sharp left turn and headed south. He claims the plane flew on autopilot until it ran out of fuel and then nosedived at terrifying speed into the ocean. But here's the kicker. Musk thinks everyone's been looking in the wrong place. The billionaire believes that the plane crashed in a completely different location, northeast of the previously searched zones, where sonar scans had failed to detect it due to technological limitations. Using a groundbreaking technology called weak signal propagation reporting, Musk's team managed to trace Flight 370's final path. Regular radar systems miss these weak signals, but Musk's tech picked them up, guiding his team to the most plausible crash site. Could this finally be the breakthrough we've been waiting for? After meticulously carving out the plane's flight path, Musk's team cross-checked their findings with satellite data from Inmarsat. The results? A compelling argument that the aircraft ended up in an entirely different area of the Indian Ocean, far from where the initial search efforts were focused. So far, only half of this new crash site has been scanned, but the potential is enormous. Aviation experts and scientific teams across the globe are excited about this new development, validating Musk's theory as the most promising lead in years. Could this really be the moment when the mystery of Flight 370 is finally unraveled? If Musk's team successfully confirms this location, it would be nothing short of a historic, life-changing discovery. But here's the thing. Even if they do find the plane at the exact spot Elon Musk hinted at, it still leaves us with a burning question. What actually caused Flight MH370 to go down? Countless theories have swirled around trying to explain this disaster. But one of the most popular is the idea that some aviation insiders believe Flight MH370 might have been taken down by the military. Imagine this, a plane veers into restricted airspace over the Indian Ocean, where powerful navies like China and the US are constantly patrolling. With advanced military exercises rumored to be underway the night the plane vanished, could MH370 have been mistaken for an unidentified threat? Did a single deadly missile end the flight's journey? But if you thought this was wild, there's another twist. Recent footage from a satellite monitoring our skies showed something beyond bizarre. In the video, an aircraft is flying peacefully until a set of strange glowing orbs appear surrounding the plane. These mysterious orbs hover around it and then suddenly with a flash of blinding light, both the plane and the orbs vanish. Could this video hold a missing link? Or is it just one more piece of a mystery that refuses to be solved? This spine-chilling footage first hit the internet on Reddit, posted anonymously, and ever since it surfaced, it's been fueling widespread fear and conspiracy theories. Internet users, aviation experts, and casual viewers alike were floored. No one could quite wrap their heads around what they were watching. What were those orbs? What was that flash of light? And most haunting of all, where did the plane and the other objects in the video vanish? In no time, the internet was buzzing with a common theory. UFOs. Could it have been an alien abduction? The idea isn't as wild as it sounds. From floating disks to strange lights in the night sky, UFO sightings have baffled humanity for over a century. And every sighting seems to leave behind paranormal mysteries, people blanking out during encounters, reports of alien abductions, and more. But could this time be different? Could we be looking at a full-blown alien hijacking? As the video made the rounds online, some researchers began to dig deeper. They discovered that the footage might actually be leaked satellite footage. 
And here's where things get really eerie. They found that the plane in this video was none other than Malaysian Flight 370. Yes, the same flight that vanished without a trace in 2014. Experts have combed through the footage, and many believe the plane's design and other details match Flight 370's characteristics exactly. Even stranger, a news report from 2014 mentioned mysterious objects spotted near the flight path of a Malaysian airliner. Could this be the same flight? As unbelievable as it sounds, it's not impossible. Some ufologists even suggested that the plane might have been abducted mid-flight while traveling from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. Could this be the first recorded case of a UFO abduction on such a massive scale? Think about it. We know aliens, if they exist, might have technology far beyond our wildest dreams. And if this plane was never found and its crash site remains a mystery, what else could it mean? It's no wonder that the more official theories fail to fill the gaps. They just leave us with even more questions. And yet the authorities have labeled this video a hoax. But if it's not real, why does the footage align so eerily well with Flight 370's disappearance? And if aliens really did take Flight 370, why this particular plane? And where did they take it? Now, in the light of these theories, Elon Musk's latest interview with Tucker Carlson is being interpreted in a whole new light. Is Musk hiding something about MH370's disappearance? It seems that Musk might not have disclosed everything he knows about MH370. Honestly, if you have been keeping up with Elon, you would know that he always seems to be avoiding discussions around topics like warp drives, wormholes, and free energy. Many have wondered why he would do so. After all, these are the concepts he often claims to be passionate about. Is there something he knows that we don't? Let's not forget, Musk's SpaceX is intertwined with the defense industry, serving as a major contractor for the government. So in a recent interview with Tucker Carlson, he hinted at the existence of black projects. Confused? Well, let's break it down for you. So these projects are actually highly classified technologies that even some military personnel aren't privy to. These secrets are closely guarded by private defense contractors, leaving the rest of us in the dark. So what does this have to do with Flight MH370? Well, if the plane did veer off course and vanish in a flash, could it be that it was entangled in a web of top secret operations? Was it simply in the wrong place at the wrong time? Or were there hidden motives at play? With all these layers of secrecy, the truth behind the disappearance becomes even murkier. The Malaysian government's official take doesn't entertain any of these theories. They concluded after extensive searches that the plane crashed somewhere in the Indian Ocean. Prime Minister Najib Razak made the announcement himself, though skeptics found it a little convenient. If it really crashed, why has the exact site never been located? No major wreckage, no clear-cut evidence. And then, almost a year later, parts of a plane start washing up on shores in the Indian Ocean. But here's the twist. By then, search teams had been sweeping those waters for months. Where were these plane parts hiding all this time? Skeptics think these fragments are just a way to calm the public and the grieving families. Some believe it's a cover-up, a strategy to give the mystery a neat ending, one that conveniently avoids digging too deep. But the full picture is still out of reach. With so many loose threads, this puzzle feels far from solved. These questions might feel like riddles crafted for the scientific community to solve, but let's be honest, our quest for answers never stops. Humanity's relentless curiosity has led to breakthroughs that were once only dreams. Just look at Elon Musk, a visionary whose drive has reshaped modern technology. Musk's relentless push for innovation led him to cast a fresh light on the MH370 mystery in ways that entire nations couldn't. Could human ingenuity really be the key to unraveling what happened to Flight 370? Or will we eventually have to look to the skies, to planets beyond, and maybe even to those mysterious lights from UFOs for the truth? Only time will tell. Thanks for watching the video. Do you think Elon Musk knows more about MH370 than he shared? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more exciting videos like this.